My name is Kiko Matsuhara. I'm 42 years old and I work from home. I'm divorced and currently single. Until six months ago, I was an office worker. But something happened and I had to quit my job there and get a job as a freelance translator. Starting a new career at my age was a difficult decision. But thankfully, some of my former clients reached out to me with some work and I was able to get my business up and running. I'm probably going to stay single for the rest of my life, so I have to work and support myself while I can. Yes, hello? It's the police! Please open up! W wait, what? Are you Miss Yuki Matsuhara? N no that's my mother, but she does live here. Your mother is a suspect for a robbery that took place recently. I'm gonna have to ask her to come with us. W wait what? I couldn't believe my ears. For a solid minute, I wasn't totally sure what the police was talking about. But the policeman looked dead serious and said, I know this must be difficult news for you, but recently there's been a lot of cases of old people committing crimes. Okay then, you can come in and you can talk to her yourself. Thank you. And so I invited the police officer in and made my way to my mother's room. Hey mom, I'm coming in. Excuse me, are you Miss Yukimatsu? Uh, wait, what? Who's this man, Kiko? It's a police officer, Mom. He wants to talk to you. Really? What can I do for you? Um, I don't want to be rude, but are you ill right now, ma'am? Yes, I've been in bed for the past six months. I fell off a flight of stairs and broke a lot of my bones. I've been like this since then. I can't even walk by myself now, and I need someone to help me go to the bathroom. Um, I thought you needed to talk to my mom, officer. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm gonna have to talk to your daughter first. Uh, sure. What is going on here? What do you mean? My mother explained everything to you. She broke her bone six months ago, and now she's stuck in bed. I've been taking care of her since. I can give you her diagnosis that we got from the hospital if you don't believe us. And I'll even give you the number of the daycare center we always go to. Is there another Miss Yuki that lives here? No, it's just me and my mother. Do you want to see our residential records? Uh, well, uh, let me go back to my station and check to see if we have the right information, yeah. Yes, please do that. Excuse me! What the hell was that all about? Hey, Kiko, what did the police officer want? You can tell me the truth, you know. You don't have to hide anything from me. Well, he said you were a suspect for a robbery case and he wanted you to come with him. Huh? Yeah, I know, right? You're stuck in bed, so there's no way you could have robbed anyone. So I basically kicked him out. I can go out alone if I have my wheelchair, but I think people would notice if I was stealing anything. Oh shoot, I forgot to ask him what you allegedly stole. But I'm not gonna let him get away with this. I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna make sure they apologize for making false allegations against you. You don't have to do that for me. I'm gonna be in a retirement home soon. I want you to focus on your life now. I'm sorry, I didn't want to cause trouble for you. You even had to quit your job because of me. No, that's not true, Mom. I quit my job because I wanted to start a new career, and I wanted to repay you for everything you've done for me, especially since you welcomed me with open arms when I got a divorce. I'm sorry for not being able to take care of you until the end, but I think you'd be better off surrounded by people who know how to take care of you than staying here in this tiny apartment with me. And I'll go see you as much as I can. I'll make sure you don't feel lonely out there. Thank you. 
I'm so lucky to have you as my daughter. There's no way such a kind, caring woman could steal from anyone. I'm not going to forgive that person that accused her of such a crime. The next day, I looked up who to contact to complain about what had happened. But that was when the same police officer came to visit us again. I am so, so sorry about what happened. Uh, huh? There was a big misunderstanding on my part, and I ended up humiliating you and your mother, and I'm so sorry. I'm willing to accept any punishments for this. Um, please, stand up first. So, my mother's innocence was proven, right? Yes, the report said that on November 1st, around 5 p.m., Miss Matahara stole a wallet that was in a passerby pocket. Uh, allegedly, she committed the crime while she was asking the said passerby for directions, and he also asked for Miss Matsuhara's name when she was asking him for directions. And that's how he knew it was her. There weren't any contradictions in the story, so I thought it might be true, but I was wrong. And so the cop continued to apologize to us. He seems pretty young, so I bet he's new on the job. The incident pissed me off, but the incident report that the alleged victim had filled out was quite convincing. And since the officer came to apologize to us directly, I decided to forgive him. It's fine, I forgive you, and I understand why you would suspect my mother in that situation. Thanks for coming over to apologize to us. Uh, no, this is the least that I can do. I'll make sure to reach out to the person who filled in the incident report again, and I'll get down to the bottom of this. I'll let you guys know if we find something out, okay? Um, can you maybe tell us who filled that incident report in? Maybe it's someone we know. I'm sorry, but I can't share that information since this is an ongoing case. I'll check with my boss, but he yelled at me before I came here and told me not to say anything out of line, so... Well, I understand. I'll be waiting for any new information, then. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, Taro Hachia, will solve this case. I swear it on my life. Taro Hachia, huh? My first impression of him was terrible, but he's probably not a bad guy. It sounds like he even reported his mistake to his superiors. Everyone makes mistakes after all, and I hope he can learn from this experience and become a kind and just police officer. But man, am I tired. Hey, I haven't talked to you in forever, what's up? Well, I was just wondering what you were up to. We haven't seen each other in forever ever since you quit your job. Yeah, things were pretty chaotic back then. We didn't have time to have a goodbye party. This is Tosuke Shimoi. He's one of my former co-workers, and he's one year older than me. We must have known each other for over ten years now. We haven't talked to each other since I quit my job. But hearing his voice reminded me of old times and made me feel warm inside. How's your mom doing? Well, she's fine, but I need to be around her at all times. But we decided that it'd be best if she gets admitted to a retirement home. Uh, wait, was she that ill? Oh yeah, I never really told you about my mother's condition. She fell down a flight of stairs six months ago and broke a lot of her bones. Now she's suffering from the after effects and she can't even walk properly. Uh, what? Really? Yeah, I was shocked when it happened too. But she's over 70 now, so... I'm an only child, so I knew I was going to have to take care of her eventually. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. So, did you want something from me? Uh, no, it's nothing. I'll talk to you again soon, okay? Uh, okay. That was weird. I wonder why he called me. I didn't tell a lot of people about what my mother had been going through, because it had to do with her privacy. And I didn't want people to feel bad or sorry for me. Taking care of her has been a challenge, but I've never thought of it as an unfortunate situation. I'm just glad that I finally have more time to spend with my mother. And so, I only told my immediate superiors about my mother and it made sense that Shimoi didn't know about it.
Well, I shouldn't really waste my time thinking about what he wanted. The caregiver should be here soon. Wait, this number. Hello? Yes, this is Hachie from the Money Roper Police Station. Thank you for answering the call. I had something I wanted to talk to you about right now about the case. Do you have some free time? Yes, my hands are free, so I can talk right now. Thank you. I'm going to get right into it, but do you know who Shimoi Tatsuke is? Shimoi? So you know who he is, huh? He's the one that filled in with the incident reports, and we can't seem to reach him. So we decided to start our investigation into him, and we found out that he was your former co-worker. We knew that we had to do something before he made any weird moves. But I haven't done anything to anger him or anything. Has he done anything weird or strange lately? Well, we were just talking, and he was surprised when I told him that my mother was really ill. I quit my job when my mother fell off that flight of stairs, but I didn't really tell my co-workers what was going on. I see, but anyhow, you should be more careful around him. He could be planning anything, so please look after yourself. Wait, but... <sighs> it's gonna be a while before he becomes an elite police officer. But what he said made sense. When I was still working at my old company, Shimoi and I were pretty close. We were around the same age after all, and we talked about a lot of stuff including how Shimoi was a unique name. And that's when we started talking about our names and why our parents decided to name us the way they did. And I think I also told him what my mother's name was when we were having that conversation. My mom was born in winter, so her name's Yuki. But she didn't want to give me a simple name like hers, and she said Kiko was one of her most favorite names. That's nice. My parents decided on Tasuke because they wanted to name me something simple and common, since my last name was quite unique. That's really disappointing, you know? Hey, you should be proud of it. It's a great name. I was having a lot of fun when I was hanging out with Shimoi but things never progressed past the friendship stage. That's because I was married at the time. Why did I get a divorce? Well, that's because my partner cheated on me. I didn't think something like this would ever happen to me, but I guess I kind of had it coming. I got a divorce a year ago, and my mother fell off the stairs six months after that. <sighs> Am I ever going to be able to relax again? Wait, this is from Mom. Since my mom can't move, we set up a button by her bed that would give my phone a call when pressed. What's up? Could you bring these documents to the mailbox for me? Alright, I'll bring these with me when I go out to buy groceries later. But am I safe to leave my house? I guess I don't have to be that concerned. Shimoi shouldn't know where I live. And so I left the house to run a couple of errands, but... Matahara? Matahara! This was the first time I've seen him in six months. He didn't look all that different from before, but he seemed to be in a rage. He looked... not himself. I was shaking uncontrollably when I saw him. Hey, why didn't you ever date me? You got a divorce with your husband, right? What are you talking about? I thought that you would finally date me, but you just disappeared one day because you needed to take care of your mother. I thought that you would shift your focus onto me if I got rid of your mother, though. Wait, what are you talking about? I don't understand. I wanted to run away from him, but my body wouldn't move at all. I've lived a pretty normal life, so I've never been in a situation like this before. So this was the first time my body actually froze from fear. You thought I was attractive, right? That's why we went out on dates and stuff, you know? I knew that you couldn't date me at the time because you were married, but I, I, I pulled a few strings and I made sure that you get a divorce. Uh, but wait, are you saying that was all for nothing? Wait, pull a few strings? What do you mean? <laughs> You're so cute and innocent. You know, there's people out there that can make a cute couple break up if you pay them, right? 
Shimoi had an eerie grin on his face. Wait, so is he saying that he's the reason my husband had an affair? I... I don't understand what's going on. But I do know one thing. I have to get out of here. Move, body, move! When I started to run, Shimoi started chasing after me. I'm not gonna let you get away! No! Please, stop! Whoa! Huh? I'm here to save you, ma'am. I won't let you lay a finger on her, you criminal! M Mr. Hachia? You bastard! I knew that you were gonna be here. I knew that the reason you deserved to frame Miss Matsuhara's mother was because you personally wanted her gone. So you were bound to show up here and threaten either Miss Matsuhara or her mother. Shut up, you believe my lies? So you're admitting that you lied, huh? That's a crime, and I'm putting you under arrest. <laughs> you're not gonna catch me, you idiot! Step resisting! You're under arrest! And so Shimoi ended up being arrested by Hachia. Afterwards, he said this at the police station while being interrogated. I was pretty close with Matahara when she was at her company. But she was dating someone else at the time, and she ended up marrying him. That's when I started to develop those feelings for her. I got married once, but it didn't work out. That was when I knew that Matsuhara was the only one that was right for me. So I hired someone to shatter her relationship. I thought that she would finally come to me after that, but shortly afterwards she just quit her job because she wanted to take care of her mother. Ugh, so I thought that I was the unluckiest man in the world at the time. So this time I decided to frame her mother, but I had no idea that she was that ill. I can't believe this is happening to me. What the hell? I felt shivers running down my spine when I heard that. I felt a kind of fear and disgust that I've never felt before in my life. I can't believe a man I trusted was basically stalking me and made me get a divorce. A few days later, Hachia came to visit me and told me that he'll likely get convicted for these charges. And I told my mother what had happened. And I decided to move to an apartment that was closer by to my mother's retirement home. I was afraid he might start stalking me again after he got out of jail. How are you feeling, Mom? I'm doing great. This place is so fun. Thanks for choosing this place for me. My mother moved into a retirement home, and she seems to be enjoying things there. She's still full of energy, so her favorite thing to do there is to play games with her new friends. I'm so glad I found a retirement home that was perfect for her. By the way, I decided to reach out to my husband after that incident. When I told him about what Shimoi had done, I thought something about that whole situation was off. Really? Well, I didn't think a third party would be involved, but I thought you hired someone so you could get a divorce with me. Why would I do something like that? You should have said something then! Well, I didn't want you to hate me even more. I just wanted to be an understanding husband. Maybe we should have talked to each other more. Yeah, if you'd like. And so, my husband and I started seeing each other once every week. I couldn't forgive him for having an affair, but the person he cheated on me with was a pro at making people fall for her. I couldn't really blame him for it. I couldn't look past everything he did, though. He did cheat on me, after all. But if I was able to handle the Shimoi situation better, this might have not have happened at all. That means I'm partly responsible for this, too. Hey, did something good happen to you lately? Huh? Why do you ask? Because you look awfully happy. I can read you like a book. Uh, really? And if you have some good news, make sure to deliver it to me before I die. Oh my god, don't say that! 
When that police officer came to my house, I was confused and angry. But maybe this incident was just what that police officer needed to kickstart his career. And it might have also been what my ex-husband and I needed to repair our relationship. In any case, I'm looking at things positively. You gotta take in the experiences you have in your life and learn some things from them. Miss Matsuhara, are you going out for groceries? Be careful out there, ma'am. Yeah, and you too. Eyes on the road. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I can't wait to see this young police officer mature into the guardian angel of this sea.